6 a.m. comes really early. It's early and it's cold. We have an appointment at 6.30. The tester person is running a little late. And I just want to go back to bed. I don't want to have something shoved up my nose. Ready? Okay, head back. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. All right. There's nothing like having your brain poked in the morning. Today's an interesting one. It's not a topic you often hear about, and that's exercise at an all inclusive. Today, we're taking the opposite approach. We want to see how few steps we can get at an all inclusive. It's a challenge. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's a, that's a worthy Jimmy goal, and Amanda. Really. I accept that challenge. You guys accept? I accept. You participating? Obviously, it's not going to be that hard. <laughs> Just for reference, it is almost noon, and I am at 2,100 steps. So, rock on, girl. I'm doing great. Doing great. I may even take a nap today. Who knows? People always ask, like, do you walk around a lot when you're at all inclusives, or do you park? Do you try to get your 10,000 steps, or you say, you know what, screw it, I'm on vacation? We're gonna answer that question. Jimmy and Amanda are out there floating in the ocean. I'm curious, you know, how many steps. Do you think, I bet that gets steps. You think? Well, I mean, I could like do an experiment and see. Gracias. There's a wrinkle in our plan. The bathroom's really far away. It's a 500 step round trip. Oh. Uh, yeah. Stay tuned to see how this plays out. Jimmy and Amanda got lunch over there and now it's making me a little bit hungry. Pausing for a second because we definitely forgot to introduce our friends. Rude. This is Jimmy and Amanda and they have a YouTube channel called Chubby and Away. They make lots of cool videos to inspire people of all sizes to travel the world. They have some amazing foodie videos which we're kind of partial to. And they go to all kinds of fun locations like Bali, Tokyo, cruises. They love them some cruises though, not as much as, you know, they love terrible karaoke. They're also making videos on this resort while they're here with us, so make sure you check them out. We'll link to their channel in the description below. All right, on with the video. Guys, this thing is neck and neck. I mean, like, it's a stiff competition out there. We got Brittany over here crushing it. We got Jimmy and Amanda over there. They're just rocking it. So how was your workout? That was a tough one. Oh, uh, you know, I'm I got my, my post-workout fuel. Not only do we have a margarita, it's a mezcal margarita with tamarind. We found this out last yesterday, night. last night. It's just kind of fun because it's tamarind, mezcal has a smoky flavor, and it's a margarita. It's not as sweet. And there's tahini on the, on the rim, but mostly it has alcohol in it and makes us uh, sedentary. So it helps with the quest of not having a lot of steps. <laughs> When you're working this hard lounging, you need a little fuel to keep yourself going. So, lunchtime is upon us, and we're just seeing what all we can stuff in our bellies. It's a lot of things that look good on here. I'm, th I'm, I'm I don't know. Give about us some that. of the things that we're considering. We got. Okay. Well, we have the hot dog, which we know. That's the tried and true. Yes. Yes. There are pizzas. There are quesadillas with various meats, proteins in them. You can get beef, chicken, or shrimp. You can get fajita tacos. We had those on the first day. Those were fantastic. Uh, burgers, you know, your traditional. And, you know, fish and chips. You got some ceviche. And then various, like, side dishes. So I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot of options here. Our last day here, we're going out in a big way. We've got a foot long hot dog here and a side of onion rings. You can't go wrong. 23.36, 1.23 miles. Whew. All right, so we finally got off the chairs and we went into the ocean. I've picked up, I guess about 500 steps. That, that was about 500 steps, so I'm at 2,600 now. Yeah, 500 steps for that? Yeah, from just swimming in the ocean. Have a good, have a good dinner. <laughs> I needed a little water therapy in my life, so I moved about the 20 steps 
from the beach chair to the pool, but it was totally worth it because it feels great in here. It's like fairly warm. I don't regret the decision at all. I'm up to 29.56. I'm almost at 3,000. We're heading on the other side of the pool so we can collect a few more sets before dinner. Well, no, that's the opposite. We don't want to collect steps. That's just where the stairs and the bar are. Okay, that's where the stairs and the bar are. So we're taking baby steps to get over there so that we don't get too many. Oh, yeah, we could float? just float over there. All right, let's see you float. Let's see the floating. <laughs> there you go. Yay. All right, Amanda, we got to see you float now. <laughs> I would much rather float than walk any day. The typical in influence of you. Look at that. No, oh, look at it. Look at it. Here we go. Here we no, go. no, no, you gotta look the other way, you okay. do this. Right. Yeah, see? This is, I can't even, I can't even be witness to it. <laughs> so you might notice, we're dressed and ready to go for dinner. We felt a little guilty just lounging on the beach all day and having that be the only thing that we showed you. But we're actually getting out and about. We're going to the Italian restaurant tonight. We did go there in one of our previous videos as well as some of the other restaurants. Elevators here. But we wanted to show you. Press the button. Thank you. But we wanted to show you more about what there is to do at an all-inclusive because it's not just sitting around getting drinks and waiting in the beach every so often. You also get plenty of food and it, it requires quite a few steps to walk to the restaurant. So let's head over and join us for dinner. This is the spread oh, no. that one gets. That looks good. Gracias. There's a lot of meat here. Right? Right? That's smorgasbord. This is just the appetizer course. I can't right now. Got crazy salad, some bruschetta, some um, prosciutto, and crazy salad over there. The one thing that in all honesty we should point out is that both Amanda and I have a second plate under our original plate, which had the plate of the previous appetizer that we just had. So this is not the case of the double stack plates that Brittany has. This is this is appetizer one, this is appetizer two. Mine yeah. is very decadent and rich. It's a little one. Oh. We got a little Parmesan ravioli. Don't bring it next. Some fresh basil. Oh. And it feels like fresh pasta. Tomorrow, I'm gonna regret not making steps. Brittany's gonna have to like roll me to the terminal. And I'm okay with that. I also got ravioli. Grasses. Grasses. Yeah, the meat sweats, dude. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, I don't know how you're gonna eat that. Uh -oh. I mean, all of this, like, this is a collective. Look, we have veggies. I got the three richest dishes on the menu. I started with a creamy mushroom soup, then I got a creamy ravioli. Now I have a creamy lasagna, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it. And then Nick got, you know, the hugest meat dishes on the planet, but not just one, two. Well, to be fair, I did ask for no side. Can you tell it's our last night? Oh, like, what is that? There's... That had to be the biggest piece they Yeah, had. then look at theirs. They got veggies. Look, we got many pieces. Look how big yours are. Yeah, like, it's a group's represented, you know? <sighs> I flew too close to the sun. <laughs> I mean, like, literally, I'm sunburned. <laughs> I thought I was doing okay, because I remember yesterday, I had a very tiny portion of veal with risotto. And then I saw somebody else order chicken parmesan with a big helping of pasta. So I thought, let's eliminate the risotto and the pasta and combine forces. Grand Fiesta says nay. They say, I can't even talk, I have, the, I have the hiccups right now. The hiccups and the meat sweats and everything. Yeah, I'm sweating. Yep, you're sweating. I can't even talk. So anyway, they bring me a double helping of chicken and whatever this is. Like, how would you describe this? Is 
literally the, the entirety of the baby cow. I would say they don't want you to go hungry, not taking into account the three other portions of food you've already had tonight. So they, <laughs> so they figure, I want him to be full. I want him to be so happy with his dinner. I'm giving him the biggest freaking piece I've got in the kitchen. That's that's bigger than my veal the night before last and yours combined. That's a big piece of veal. I have never seen a piece of meat this big. It is so good. I have a different struggle. I ordered the three creamiest dishes on the menu and the first two went down easy, the third one. Eat it, but I, I literally can't. Have you ever seen a creamier lasagna? Look at this. This is lasagna. I've eaten like a gallon of just pasta sauce at this point. I can't take another bite. I can't do it. I can't do it. But now I'm listening to the background music. I just. And it's so uplifting. So. Oh, it does. It kind of makes you like you have encouragement. Like you can do this. You can do it. I can eat one more bite. Hallelujah. Watch this. Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Life finds out. I'm done. How did you get us into? I always get us into situations. And what are we having here? We are having flaming tequila again. Flaming decaf. coffee with tequila that's decaf because we've had too much caffeine. But this time we get ice cream. Exactly. Oh. Tequila. Yeah. Oh, next. Flaming coffee with mas tequila, much to Jimmy and Amanda's chagrin. I'm apparently a bad influence. We mean it in the best possible way. Sometimes we need a little nudge. Like, like, see, that's the benefit of taking me on your travels. I may not be the best planner. I may not be the best, like, you know, most expert of everything around. But God damn it, do I not know how to have a good time? And so that. Now you keep me around. Travel enhancement. Travel enhancement. Yes! Mm -hmm. You need a shirt. On the travel the enhancer. The travel enhancer. It's like a superhero. It'll make you a cape. I can do it. I have a final thingy thing. I'll do it 100%. I'm going to make it and mail it to you. Just getting some last minute steps in. Let's get a final count. We just got back from dinner. Um, on an average day, we get over 10,000 steps because you know, we make an effort to get there. Today, without any effort whatsoever, let's see what the final count was. 5,108 steps was my count. Actually, that's not terrible considering some days when we work from home, I feel like I've gotten less than that. But, you know, I feel like we did all right with our, uh, with our step goal and not leaving our chairs too often. You have 5670. Oh, you got a little more than me. Okay, Nick got a little bit more than me. I will say like one of the ways that you end up getting steps, whether you want them or not, is because the resorts are spread out. So if you walk to the beach, then you walk to the pool, then the bathroom, then the restaurants, then back up to your room, you're gonna get steps. So you burn off all that food if you saw our dinner tonight. It's a good thing you burn it a little bit off, but maybe next time, maybe our next all-inclusive, we're gonna have to try the opposite tactic and see how many steps we can actually get to. That's the next goal. Sounds so, terrible. Sounds terrible, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, so stay tuned for it. The results are in, and we are officially negativo for the COVID. 
So we got our, um, our email with the results from the test that we took this morning. We actually got it at like around 3 o'clock today. So we took the test at 6.30, we got the results at 3. That's not terrible. I mean, you know, same day you get the results back. But that means, sadly, we have to go home. It's not sad because, you know, we don't have COVID, we get to see the kids. But this place has been fantastic, so that's why it's kind of... It's, it's tough to leave here because we've loved all the people we've met. We had a blast with Jimmy and Amanda from Chubby and Away, and we'll link to their channel below so you can check out all of their videos too. But this place just blew our expectations out of the water. It's been amazing. I did want to talk for one second about like the kids' activities and stuff because um, while we don't have kids on this trip, we, you know, take our kids a lot of most places. Um, and this place we did see a lot of kids here. So it seemed like kind of more younger kids, like there's a lot of strollers here, but um, they do have like a kids club. They have kids, several kids pool areas and there were lots of families here. So if you are considering bringing your kids, I wouldn't hesitate. Um, they've got like activities plus all the food, you know, they, they can make whatever. There'll be something for your kids that they'll enjoy. Um, but we do have to go, unfortunately. So we're gonna finish packing. We're gonna get ready. We have an early flight tomorrow. So we hope you enjoyed our lazy day. But if you've enjoyed these videos, so check out our other videos that we've made on this resort because we've been basically covering the whole place. So we will also link to those and subscribe, follow us on all the social, and we will see you for our next trip. Goodbye, Mexico.